The issue with storage on MacBooks, it feels like Apple's gaming with us because we're paying so much for so little storage. And I'm calling this a game because every time you get in your MacBook Pro, when you try to upgrade your storage, it just feels like it will only take a couple more bucks for you to upgrade more. And then it feels like a few more bucks to upgrade even more. And then Apple just keeps on like giving you inch and inch more so you can spend more money. And when you get to your checkout card, you find out that you spend way more money than you imagine and what you anticipated for. I think in 2024, or even going to 2025, Apple should have given us way more storage than what they actually do. And by the way, welcome to the channel. My name is Kaimar Salizi. This is where I share my love for tech and their setups. So if you like what I share here, please give it one of these and subscribe. So if it's not clear, I'm a MacBook Pro user. That's what I use on my setup. But my whole dilemma is the storage, especially for me as a creator. Yes, the processing part is very important, but as a creator, because I work with large 4K files, my storage typically runs out before my processing power starts to scream. And a few months ago, I had the option to either upgrade my Mac or upgrade my camera. I chose my camera and now my camera, they're producing so much large files that I cannot use my MacBook Pro, but this is where Ugreen comes in. Ugreen is a company that produces chargers that you might have seen on this channel. They make also other products like Docs. They actually produce very high quality products. So this year they decided to dive into something very new to them, which is called a NAS, which stands for Network Attached Storage. If you're new to NASes, think of it as Google Drive or even Dropbox being, in this case, in your house with your own storage without paying any subscriptions and you can access via internet. Basically, it's your own personal cloud storage. So from their new lineups, Ugreen sent me that DXP4800+. Plus. This is a robust system that supports four SATA drive slots and two NVMe supporting up to 104 terabytes in total between storage and cache. In this case, cache means speed or processing power. Out of the box, you see the NAS, you get the power cords, and you also get an ethernet cable because this NAS supports 10 gigs of internet speed if you want to connect it via ethernet. On the front, you have the four slots for each drives and even being new to NAS systems I'm super impressed the way Ugreen built this because to remove the drives is so simple and they also come with a locking key just in case you know, have kids around and you want to make sure they don't actually remove these and each slot kind of expands to fit the drive make it very unique because mostly NAS systems from what I hear they require tools for you to attach the drives to this so that's pretty clutch. You also see the power button, some blinking indicators, and you see an SD card slot, making me feel that Ugreen wants this somewhere in a vicinity that you can use somewhere like in your, your desk or a side table because of this accessibility slot. And of course, they have a USB-A and a USB-C port as well. On the back, you see more ports, USB-Cs, and you also see the internet connections and the big vent to keep this thing cool and your NAS running better. On the underside, that's where you have the accessibility for your M2 NVMe slots. Now for this one, I purchased my own NVMe drives because you green didn't send me those. And the drives I recommend for this ones are gonna be the Samsung 9070s or the 9080 Pros because they are super fast. And you wanna go with one or two gigs because this is just gonna be for cache storage. These drives will not be used to store things. I mean, you can if you want to, but it's recommended that you use this for speed. Now for the storage side of things, you can send me four, four terabytes Western Digital drives. I know you're thinking, wow, 12 terabytes, awesome. Well, fortunately and unfortunately, that's not the storage that is available to you. Because you see, in this system, the main configuration is actually something called a RAID 5. And RAID 5 is a system that just balances your performance and storage, meaning your storage doesn't sit on any like physical drive, it sits on the system overall. So if one of your drive damages, your storage can still be safe because it's using the other drives. So you don't get all the 12, you get maybe I wanna say seven or eight gigs just for protection. And if you wanna upgrade the system, you can. I believe you can go up to like 94 or 98 terabytes. I'm gonna put the official specs either on the screen or below. But the drives that I recommend that you go with are the Seagate Iron Wolf Pros or the Western Digital Red Plus, which are designed specifically for NAS systems. So don't go pulling drives from an old computer or an old PC thinking it's gonna work. No, you need drives that can handle excessive performance and transfer speeds over a lot of time. Now let's talk real quick about the setup before I tell you my use case scenario and how I actually operate this NAS on a daily basis. And for a more detailed video on actually how to set this up, I am going to link Forrest's video below. It's the best guy that I've found online, especially for me that I'm a Mac user. And I think he also walks you through if you are a Windows user. But starting off, Ugreen makes you feel like an Apple-like experience setting this thing up. First, you want to go to a website, of course, to find your NAS. Once you find your NAS, you're going to install their software. This software is almost going to look like an entire window with a bunch of software that you can download, that you can 
upgrade and set up different configurations for your NAS. Then you're gonna go to the menus on just setting this up as a RAID 5. And if you have your NVMe drives, you're gonna set those as cache. And once you have all this set up, you're gonna navigate to the files manager and you're basically gonna connect your NAS to your MacBook. Again, I'm gonna link the video below where you can do this in detail. Now, the thing that I love about this, I don't have to use Ugreen software all the time. Matter of fact, I actually use it closed off because I just have my NAS system on my Finder window. So if I pull up my Finder window, I see my NAS on the side and I call it, of course, bad NAS because this is the bad cave and I see my personal folder. This is where I'm storing all my files, but sometimes to access them super easily, I just set most of these files also on the side as my favorite folders to access. And then when editing videos, I can just access those really quickly. Or when I'm even transferring files from my drives, I can access those very quickly as well. And to transfer my files, you guess I can connect directly just on an NAS or I can connect it on my dock and just move in between. Even when I connect it through my dock, the transfer speed between my dock, essentially, this is just my MacBook going from my MacBook to the NAS, the speeds are incredibly fast. And that is because you have an NVMe drive that can support it. So if you are going for this system, maybe not cheap out so much on your NVMe drive. If you go for like a two terabytes, even above, it's actually overkill. So you're gonna be fine, but I can transfer over like a hundred or even like 200 gigs. And I wanna say maybe like 20 minutes or less. That's pretty fast. Now, the most cool thing that I love about this is when I'm creating videos, sometimes I forget like a B-roll or two. So I disconnect my SD card, I run to my camera and I try like shoot just one more footage. And it's very annoying if you know video editing, your Premiere Pro is basically gonna either shut down or just go red because your media is gonna be all missing. But this thing fixes it because now I'm linking all my media to my NAS. Remember my NAS is always connected. So when I'm editing, I'm no longer editing from my SD card. I'm just editing from my NAS. So my media is always linked. Even when I'm just pulling up like old projects, I have no issues because my media is always linked. This is much better, which also brings up another feature of the NAS. So they also have a mobile app, which is super seamless. And the experience, like I said, is a very Apple-like experience that you can actually visualize your videos. You can scrub through footage really quick to see which video you're looking for. You can even do search within the NAS. But to answer a very burning question, well, what if I'm not home, or even out of the country? Can I still access my NAS? And the answer is yes. So this one is not gonna be through the app, it's gonna be through the website. So when you create an account, you're also gonna create a Ugreen Cloud account. This is when you're gonna be able to access your NAS when you're not home, or in this case, you're not out of town. I just went to Florida a few months ago and I wanted to create content and I remember that I had footage on my NAS and you know what? All I had to do was go into my NAS. I saw all my files. I could drop new files. I could pick up new files. Now, of course, I'm at the mercy of the internet that I'm using, but I still have access to my files, which is something really dope. And I didn't have to carry like so many hard drives and I still had all my entire library and I'm not paying a monthly subscription. So with an older Mac, this helps me so much because now I don't have to store any files on my Mac. This doesn't solve the processing issue, but it certainly helps. Now this Mac can just be dedicated for processing alone and not the storage. And I am gonna upgrade my Mac soon, so when I do, we'll cross the bridge when we get there. But for now, this is what I do. So I'm super happy with this setup and I'm feeling very safe with this system because Ugreen actually sends a lot of software updates and they are fixing a lot of bugs as they go because this thing was just on Kickstarter a few months ago, but now they're on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link in the description below so you can find this thing. And they might be some Black Friday deals. So I'm gonna link that as well. And I hope this can serve you. So before you go and upgrade for like another 2000 or like $3,000 laptop, if your MacBook you think still has a lot of processing power, it's just the storage shortcomings, you can pick yourself this one. Ugreen has many options for two drives, four drives, six drives, even like eight drives, I believe. So feel free to choose which one rocks your boat. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Tell me if you use NASIS before, what's your experience with NASIS, if you never heard about it, and something that I should look out for, you know, being new to NASIS and everything. This is me signing out. See you guys next one. Peace.